Hey everyone, welcome to the workshop. My name is John with Justin Nazarene Leather Company. We're at the end of June, so it's time for another business update. We are indeed near the end of June, and so we're going to be talking about some things, mostly different products we have available, whether that's stuff we're continuing on, new products for July, um, restocks, things like that. Oh, we've also got a couple shows we're going to be going to later this year, um, at least two, maybe more. I don't know. We'll see. So first of all, um, our June exclusive item was a Nazarene Blend coffee. I had a hand in formulating the blend of this coffee. And so it is nothing that is sold out there that we just slapped our label on and went, no, this is a custom roasted blend um, that is absolutely delicious. So got some right now in my midnight ride mug and still kind of hot, still kind of hot. Oh, very hot. So get some today. We'll have that on our site um, going forward for as long as we can get the beans because it is a natural product. It's a plant. Um, they're only in season part of the year. So as long as my roaster can get the beans, we'll continue to offer it. And then whenever they become available next growing season, um, we'll have the coffee blend back. So if you like coffee, if you want to try some coffee, get yours today. All right. Um, in addition to that, we also still have our branded coasters if you'd like to show your support for our business these are great ways to do that so thank you to everyone who purchased our coffee and coasters i hope that it was absolutely awesome and thank you for supporting our business all right um this month we got our foraging pouches this one's kind of wrapped up our foraging pouches back in stock um i believe i posted a video about it on the YouTube, um, if you follow us on so on social media, specifically Instagram, um, we do a lot of posting there. Um, we either post stuff on YouTube or Instagram or both, but we're most active on Instagram. So if you have one of those, follow us there. Um, so yeah, those are back in stock. We were out for a few months, but I was able to get more done. And I had to fulfill a big order with these, so I've only got a handful of them left, but I should be getting more bags from my supplier in hopefully this week. All right, so that's the foraging pouches. What else? Oh, yes, we got, um, I think I mentioned last month, we're doing our Bibles, all right, our leather scriptures it's the scriptures 2009 version um that we're keeping on our website as a regular item all right we don't really profit anything off these sales um, but what we do um, when you buy a leather covered copy of the scriptures um, you get this but then we take the proceeds from that sale and we donate a regular copy of the of the scriptures so an uncovered one um, through grindstone ministries all right so they are a um a disaster relief 501c3 so when tragedy strikes certain areas tornadoes there's a lot of damage they go in they send crews they clean up they help people um so that's what grindstone does they also offer the word of god free of charge to anyone who wants a copy um so we are pledging to help offset that cost um to grindstone to allow them to continue to give away the word of god for free to anyone who needs one so whenever you're supporting us by getting a copy of the scriptures you're also helping someone else get it for free so it's buy one give one all right um so we got some new colored leather um this is our light brown that we've got we've also got a dark brown okay and we have a marbled brown so there's a subtle texture and marbling pattern on it so um we still have i think we have one copy of the marbled copper color so it's kind of the honey the golden looking one we've got a few purples left and then we have several of each of these three browns all right so get yourself a, um, a copy today and um, when you do just know that you are supporting someone else getting a free copy of the Word of God so thank you in advance to everyone who is supporting us I think I think this month a running total is four Bibles that we're going to donate. Um, so we're going to donate on a monthly basis. So thank you to everyone who purchased one this month. Um, you're helping us get four copies of God's Word into someone else's hands. 
All right. Um, something else I posted on my socials. I asked people what their favorite design was for these. If you have no idea what these things are, let me tell you about them real quick. Um, these are, in English, we call them tassels, all right? Um, in Hebrew, it is zitzit, or zitziot, all right? That's kind of the plural, at least my understanding of what the plural of zitzit is. Um, zitziot, plural. Um, what this is, these are in obedience to the command that God gave his people in the book of Numbers, chapter 15, specifically verses 38 through 40, all right? God told his people, you need to put fringes, zit zit, on the corners of your garment with blue, notice there's blue in here, all right, as a remembrance to be obeying God's law. So in obedience to those, uh, or to that command, myself and people who believe like me, we wear these on our clothes, all right? They normally come as a set of four um, that you make, and they normally just clip onto belt loops. Um, some ladies use like a safety pin to attach them to their clothes. Um, this is not a Jewish thing, and this is something that is in every single Christian Bible that's out there. Right? It's for all of God's people, not just for one specific people group. Anyway, my zit zits, all right, these are nano paracord, all right, it's kind of hard to see. Let me see if we can get a good view there, okay? So I like the way they hang, they hang very nicely. This is a camouflage paracord with blue. And so these are mine, and I have tried out four different belt loop designs. There's one. There's a thin one. Okay. Each of these have different snaps or closures and hardware and sizes. All right. Each with different looks to them. And so we've gotten a lot of votes. Um, a lot of people have liked this one, this tall one, and then the thinner one here, probably because the zit zits are thin and so that hardware does seem to match as opposed to the larger stuff. Um, so if you have not voted, if you've not commented, go follow us on Instagram and you'll see where I have a picture of these four. Vote for whichever one you like. I'm still working on figuring out the exact hardware and such. Um, Cause some of it hasn't worked out exactly like what I've planned. So what I'm gonna do with each of these four, I'm going to wear all four of these different kinds, all right, over the next month, two months, however long that I want to. And I'm gonna put them on different positions on my pants um, to see how the leather works, how well they hold up, the different attachments, where they bend, if they bend, uh, with me sitting down, standing up, walking, getting in and out of the car, just doing all the things that I normally do. Because what I want to do, I want to figure out, um, are these closures going to hold up? For example, this one only has one snap. All right, it's a big snap, but only has one point of contact to keep that closed. All right, so if something catches this little bit, that potentially could snap off. Um, and that's why for this one, I have two snaps on it. All right, so that's going to be a little bit harder to get off. Um, but it also may be harder to put on, all right? Um, and actually, yeah, it's not snapping together. So I'm still working out the bugs here. This thin one here, all right, I'm actually kind of liking the design of that. That is a button stud that's on there, all right? So it's not a snap. It is a button stud, and this button stud might be too large for how thin this is. I may need to put a smaller one on here. Um, so that's an option. This one I think will hold up rather well. But again, I don't know. I've got to test it. It may do a weird twisting thing. I'm not sure. Um, this one, a lot of people like it. I think it looks good. Um, problem is the belt's going to stop about here. So when I sit down, this is likely to bend up. And when I stand up after a while, this leather could bend forward, all right? So this may not be a good design, all right? These are snaps that hold it together. Um, but yeah, I'm just experimenting with some different things because the next product in our Nazarene line that we wanna offer are leather belt loops 
to attach your zeet zeets to. And so all I've shown was kind of this rustic brown looking ones. Um, but I'm kind of thinking having a brown and a black option and having like an everyday um, type of of leather loop and then maybe like one for dress or right? one that's a nicer leather that's finished completely on the sides um, that could go with your nicer clothes all right um, so I've got in addition to the antique brass hardware I've also got like some gunmetal all right gray hardware that could go with zeet zeets like these from Sanctified Supply Co all right so these are mine from them all right, so that's a thicker paracord. They also make theirs out of paracord. Um, and so this thicker paracord actually could go well with the larger hardware. Um, I'm not sure, all right? But I do plan to make black ones um, with leather that is black also. I have some of that um, just to give you some options. So. Potentially, whenever I figure out what my styles are going to be, get my hardware squared away, there's going to be a brown and a black option, and probably a thicker, more robust, casual, everyday kind of wear, and then a nice, um, sleeker, cleaner dress um, loop for the... Um, for the ZZ. Sorry, I'm having trouble talking here. So yeah, that's um that's what we're going with here. As of right now, I do not manufacture the ZZ. Um, so I'm I am more than willing to reach out to someone um, like Sanctified Supply Co. I probably will. And there's a few other people I found on Instagram that make um, uh, ZZ Zeets that I'd be willing to partner with to create these items and find something that works well um, for everyone out there. So that is something that is in the works right now. And I think, oh, July exclusive items. All right, so the coffee was for June. Now, July, all right, we've got two pouches. All right, two pouches, um, they were prototypes. Prototypes that were inspired by a customer who reached out and asked for a smaller, more compact version of our original belt pouch with snaps. Sorry, without snaps. So we put some things together. I made a custom item for that customer and that got me thinking, man, we could, we could offer a more compact size. But I wanted to experiment with some of the design because with the size getting smaller, I, I wanted to work on possibly expanding the gusset to see how that would work so that there's enough volume to hold your kit. And so I had a few prototypes. I've got two of them here. And these will be the exclusive items for the month of July. All right. So here is pouch number one. All right. And this is pouch number two. Pouch number two is a little bit wider, as you can tell. All right, let me show you how these compare to a regular size pouch. This is one of our weathered leather belt pouches. All right, but the exact same design as the original without snaps. So you can see that this one is a little bit smaller. All right, um, we just kind of took down all the dimensions a little bit more, um, including the belt loop. The belt loop accommodates about an inch and a half belt, maybe an inch and three fourths. All right, so it'll still work on any regular size belt. It's just a smaller pouch. Kind of where we adjusted some things and played around with the gusset you can see it well on this side it has a wider gusset at the bottom so that's about an inch and a half almost two inches if you really spread it out that tapers down as you go up to our regular width for a gusset all right so it's kind of got a tapered bottom there that is pouch number one Pouch number two has that wide gusset all the way up. It looks like it tapers, but that's just because the front is kind of closing in on itself. That's why it has a wider look to it. This one is actually quite deep, all right? In case you don't know how to open our pouches, if you just place your index finger behind the toggle and then pinch it with your thumb, all right? Pull back on it. That's a way you ensure that the thread that's holding this isn't gonna rip out. It's an easy way to open your pouch. But you can see this one opens quite wide. There's an extra piece 
of lace in here. All of our pouches come with an extra piece of lace um, just because that gets the most wear and tear. We want you to have a spare, all right? Um, so yeah, this one, when full, all right, will fit under the flap. You can hold quite a bit in there and very easy to get your hand in and out. All right, so those are the two pouches. They are prototypes of a future coming product, which will be called the Junior Leather Belt Pouch. So it's perfect for someone who wants a more compact size um, or maybe for a child, all right? Um, if you're a parent, you know it. Kids go outside, they're with you outside, and they find the most amazing, the most beautiful, the most magical and precious rocks that are unlike any other rocks anywhere in the world and they want to keep those rocks but eventually what always happens they seem to hand those rocks to you dad or to you mom say hey can you carry my special rock and god help you if you lose that rock by the time you get home because your child will just be crushed what if your kid had his own little belt pouch to where he can save all the rocks that he can fit in here that are unlike any other rocks in the whole world, he can have his own place to put them. All right, so that's one option or anyone who just wants a smaller form factor, a more compact form factor that's a little bit wider, um, that may fit better for your gear. So we've got two pouches, only two. These are available only for the month of July and I think they run $40 here. All right, so that's the new stuff that we got. Um, I don't think there's anything else. I'm prototyping several different things um, at this time. I've got some deadlines on a few other things, but um, as they get done, I will do my best to keep you updated. So the best way to ensure that is to um, subscribe to the channel here if you're not already. Follow us on Instagram. It's a great place to get content. And if you like the work that I do, and if you want to see more videos like my business side content, all right, those take a lot of work as I'm crunching numbers and calculating and developing things um, to put those videos uh, uh, together. So if you like that type of content, the best way that you can support me and ensure that there's more of that stuff is one to like, subscribe, share the videos, but also buy something from my store. All right. If you support the work, the work that I do with what I craft and create, that allows me to share more of my knowledge with you so I can dedicate the time to do that. So if you like what I do, support me in my businesses. All right. I would really appreciate that. Thank you so much for joining me in the workshop today for this June 2024 business update. I pray that you're blessed. Bye.